Hello, this is Jack from teachingeselonline.com. Now, today I'm going to talk about how you can work remotely and mainly focusing on three tools that you can use to help you do this. Because at the moment, a lot of people are having to work from home, but they need to continue working. And it's in line of work where people are meeting people on a one-to-one -one basis mainly. So teacher, private teachers, um, therapists, anyone really who, who has an office or works in a language school and they normally meet with people, but because of what's happening right now, they can't. And it's also for uh, people who want to get into this line of work and want to be able to work remotely in order to work from home or work from anywhere in the world. So I'm gonna talk about those three tools. I'll leave the links in the description for you. And also definitely check out uh, a couple of free resources I have. The first one is a video training series which talks about the world of online teaching and how you can get into this and market yourself as an online teacher. And then also I have a, a free video course as well which talks about email marketing and that's going to be tool number three. Now let's just get started with number one and it's the obvious tool that we need in order to connect with people and you can meet with people online using Facebook Messenger these days or, or WhatsApp video chat, Skype as well. But my favorite tool by far is zoom.us. Now, it's my favorite for a few reasons. Firstly, the connection is just fantastic. Compared to other tools, this the, the connection is just, you can't compare it. So this is very important because when you're meeting with people, you don't want to have echoes or or lag or bad audio quality. And Zoom is the best out there for this. Now there is a free and a paid plan, like everything. And you can get away with the free plan in most cases, because this is for one-to-one -one meetings with lots of tools that Zoom has. This comes part as a free plan. The reason to pay is if you're using it more in a, a big corporate setting where you're having lots of calls and you're having to have different use cases for it. Or if you're meeting with a group of clients or students for more than 40 minutes. And that, that was the last time I checked. So it was more than 40 minutes, you had to go into the next plan. Now you can always think about, okay, well, I can do 40 minute lessons or 40 minute meetings, but if you need the next plan, it's not too expensive for, for the individual. So with Zoom, you can do things like share your screen. You can have a chat feature in the room. You can also annotate your screen. So as you're sharing something, you can underline stuff. You can draw pictures on there. You know, you can do whatever you want to do. Um, but Zoom is, is, is great and it works on both a laptop or on a phone. So definitely check out Zoom, zoom.us. Now the next one, and hopefully I'm gonna say this properly, is Calendly, Calendly. So it's like a calendar, but with Lee instead of the R at the end. And this is an online booking tool, which integrates with Zoom, and that's an important part of this. So you might already have, if you're already working as, let's say a therapist, and people book um, times with you online, then you probably already have something set up. But also just look at Zoom as well, because you might be able to integrate the payment system, sorry, Calendly, because you might be able to integrate that with Calendly. But I'll explain how to use it and why you might need it. And that should give you a better idea about if you want to move forward with it. So with Calendly, it allows people to look at one calendar or different types of calendars that you set up, book a time with you and enter their payment details if necessary. So a lot of online language teachers and also people who offer their services like marketing services, they'll offer a free initial consultation. This might be 10 minutes, it might be 30 minutes. And you can set up a calendar so that people can book that time with you. And using Calendly, you can say, I'm available at these times, I'm on holiday on this date. People have to book 48 hours in advance, etc. So you can have a lot of control over when people book a time with you. 
But then let's say that someone, someone then wants to buy time with you, your services, or if it's a lesson. You can have a different calendar where you have all the times available. They select their time, make their payment, and now they have that time with you. And then obviously you don't want everything to, you don't want to get double booked so you can just have everything linked together. Now with Calendly, what's really interesting is you can set it up with Zoom so that, and I'll, I'll leave a link to the video where I talk about how to do this, where if somebody books a time with you, it's automatically going to create a new Zoom meeting. So if someone books a time with you Thursday at three o'clock, they're gonna receive an email with that confirmation, but they're also going to receive an email from Zoom saying, this is the, the link you need and this is how to use Zoom. And then you can set it up so that they get reminders the day before or an hour before, or both, just to remind people to, to come to that, to that meeting. So all of this is automated now. And that's why I really like these two tools working together because they automate this, this, entire, this entire process. So if you already have an online booking system, then maybe Calendly's not for you, but look into it anyway. And if you're somebody who, who needs this online booking reference, then you can, you can use Canly. And then you can also have it integrate with different calendars as well so that you can see everything on one calendar. For example, Google Calendar. Now, the third tool is more of a marketing resource that you might want to consider if you don't have this already. And it's all about building an email list. So the tool that I recommend here, and I have an affiliate link in the description, it is Active Campaign. okay? Now you can get a free 14 day trial by clicking the link below just to test everything out. But I've tried a lot of different email marketing systems out there and I used to have one which I quite liked, but since moving to Active Campaign, I just don't think anything compares for the price point and the features you get. And I, oh, the, the way I describe it is saying it's simple yet sophisticated and you can grow with it. But if you wanna use it in a very basic way, it's so easy to use. Now, email marketing software is a way for you to keep a list of people who are interested in your services or who have signed up for something in the past. And then you can send out mass emails to people on your list. Now, as an online teacher, I'll give some examples here. As an online teacher, there might be somebody who booked a trial lesson with you but has never taken lessons um, further down the line. There might be somebody who has taken lessons in the past, but has stopped taking lessons and hasn't had one for six months. Or somebody who just decided to join your email list because you were giving something away for free or you provide value through email. So you can then segment people and send out emails to different people on that list. For example, you can send out an offer to, some, to, to all those people who booked a trial lesson but then didn't take lessons with you. And all of this is going to integrate together. Okay, so if someone books a, a free trial lesson with you on Calendly, you can have Calendly integrate with Active Campaign so that it adds a new contact and it also tags them. So let's say they book a trial lesson, you can say tag trial lesson then if someone books a lesson with you, either through Calendly or different software, you can then have that taught to active campaign to then tag them to say student, okay? So you can see how all of this works. And this is important if you want to build up your independent service business, you know, therapy business, um, whatever it is. So everything is going into active campaign and you, you have a list of people who you can contact at any time. You can send out offers, you can send out emails. You have a list of people so that if you have an opening, and I know like some local businesses do this really well. There's one where I once <laughs> went into a water flotation tank. And what they do is if they have an opening, they'll send out an email, if someone cancels, they'll send out an email the night before saying, quick, 20% off at this time, who wants it? 
So it allows you to communicate with past clients, current clients, um, leads that have come through in the past. And email marketing is such a powerful way to fill up your, your schedule, to make sure that you are at capacity, to make sure that you are maximizing your revenue and people taking or buying time from you. So email marketing is something that I've focused on for a long time. Um, again, if you want to learn more about this, then I do have a five part series, or it's a five day email marketing challenge, which just walks you through all of this. Okay, so it walks you through how to get it all set up. Um, so those are the three tools, Zoom, Calendly, Active Campaign. Um, if you have any questions about this, then please let me know in the comment section below. I hope you found this useful. Um, share it with someone who needs to know about this. And yeah, I'll speak to you soon. All right, bye-bye.